Hey there guys, um, I just got my new, brand new iPhone 4, you're going to see it in a second over on my Mac, on Facebook, there's screen flow. Anyway, so I just got my brand new iPhone 4, I am now officially Apple's bitch, and um, uh, it is absolutely insane, I love my iPhone, and I highly recommend you get one, so now I'm going to switch over to my Mac. Alright, and we're back to the Mac. So today, if the flashing text isn't obvious enough, I'm going to show you how to make free ringtones for any phone. Now any phone has a little asterisk up there, it doesn't, but I'm saying it does because eh, some phones are pretty ancient, and if you're, if you're using a brick, it's probably not going to work. So here's my iPhone. First, I'm going to show you how to do ringtones for the iPhone, then I'll move on to any phone. I'm going to do this on a Mac, and then I'm going to show you the PC way of doing it. Alright? Alright, let's get started. First thing you need to do is find a song you want. So, in your iTunes, go to music and find a song you want. I'm going to random pick... No, I don't want that song. <laughs> we'll go with... Uh... Pro Nails by Kid Sister. It's a good quality song. Right there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I want that song. It's a good song. So click and drag it to your desktop. Good. Now it's on my desktop. Good. Okay. Now go ahead and open up GarageBand. This is what you're going to use. So go to GarageBand. You right. have new mail. Apparently I got an email. Sick. Alright, go to piano. We don't really need any other thing. Piano. Call it the name of the song. Pro Nails. Dot band. Create. Great. Delete the grand piano one. First enlarge it to delete the grand piano. Hit command delete. Now you're going to drag in Pro Nails or the song gonna import it, perfect. Drag it to the very beginning. Get rid of this viewer by uh, hitting the eyeball. Here's the ringtone and uh, I'm going to find the spot I want to start it. I want to start right there. So uh, see how I can't get right there? Hit the up arrow down here on measures and it will switch to time. Now I can be precise. I want to cut it right here. To cut it, hit Command T. Now I want to delete the beginning, but to click it, I have to click out, then click it, and hit delete. Now drag it to the very beginning. Good. Now the beginning. And you want it about 20 seconds long, so in the timeline up here you can see the seconds. Right there I want it to cut. Command T, click out, click the end, delete. Now, we're going to set up fading. To do fades, I like to give it about a second to fade in, so zoom in about one second in, 1.000. Click this drop down arrow right here. Uh, in, yeah, this drop down arrow. Click on the red line where the blue and the gray meet, right, right here. Eh, creates a dot. Now go to the first dot, click and drag it down. Now when you play it, you can hear that it faded in. Do the same for the end. It ends at 23.062, so go to 22.062. Click, click the end, drag it down. It fades. The metronome's on, that's what that clicking was. And it fades. It's, it's, it's very nice. It just makes it sound better. Alright, we're done. That, that's my ringtone. There's my ringtone, which I'm very satisfied with. So now I'm going to share that. Click share. And export song to disk and you're going to this is the very important part you need to use compress and you need to hit ACC encoder and set it for higher quality hit export and higher quality call it pronails.m4a save it to your desktop save hit save now can close this don't save exit Delete the first pronouns, and now we have pronouns.m4a. Uh -oh. Bye. So there's that ringtone. To get this into iTunes, if you drag this in right now, it's just going to go to your music. We need to tell it it's a ringtone. So make a duplicate of it, because we still want the m4a version for other reasons. Duplicate. Now it's pronouns copy. 
um, change the extension on it. If you don't see the extension there, that's okay. Right click it, hit Get Info. Here's where you can change the name. I'm going to change it to pronails.m4r. R is in Randy. Okay. Uh, after you do that, just hit the X. It'll pop up and say, hey, are you sure you want to do this? It might corrupt it. Uh, hit Use M4R. So now it is a ringtone. To use this, simply drag it into iTunes. Now watch. As soon as it's in, go to Ringtones, Pro Nails. Uh -oh. Now when I sync my iPhone, it will go there. Okay, let's say you've got another phone. This, that's okay. We can still do that. What you're going to do is you're going to open up Safari, and you're going to go to F-U-N, fun, F-O-R, for, M-O-B-I-L-E, mobile.com, funformobile.com. Then you're going to go to the uploader. It looks like a spam page. It's not. It's just the layout of their site. Go to uploader and hit upload ringtone. All right, so now select your carrier. So select the carrier you're with, and... Uh, Really, that's all you gotta do. Select the carrier, type in your phone number, hit choose file, and make sure when you're picking it, not don't pick the M4R version for iTunes, pick the M4A version. So double click M4A, type in your phone number, call it Pronails. If you want this file, there will be a link in the description to download it. And the mobile phone number, uh, you type in, type it in. I'm gonna do that. So after you hit upload, you'll get this file uploading. Please wait. Now note that this isn't going to work because uh, I sent it to my iPhone, but I didn't pick the right carrier because um, it it won't send it to the iPhone. Rogers won't send that to the iPhone because it knows it's an iPhone and it does it with iTunes. I wouldn't be able to download it anyways. But on any other phone, this should work. So it says a text has been sent to my phone, and uh, it's got a web link. When I receive the text, it's going to have an address that says, please go here to download. When you go to it, it will open a page where you literally just click download, and it starts downloading to your phone. It worked perfectly on my LG Rumor. So that's all you have to do. And really, that's, that's it. You're done. Uh, it's been sent, and now it works. So I'm going to quit this tutorial, and I'm now going to go to the Windows version to show you how to do this. All I'm going to show you how to use is Audacity, and then I'll say, come back to this tutorial. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Peace. The point of concept, I'm going to call my phone. No, I, I, I wouldn't like to buy a dishwasher. No, sir, I said I don't want to buy your dishwasher. Did you not understand?